Uh, hi, this is Krishna. And in this video, we will talk about difference between is empty and is blank methods in Java string class. So there are two methods that is is empty and is blank. And what is the exact difference between these two? We will see with one example. So before that, we'll talk about is empty. Let me put it in comments. So when you talk about is empty method, so the first point we need to remember is what it will do. It returns true. Okay. It returns true if the string is empty. So what do you mean by empty here? Okay. It should has a length of zero. Has a length of zero. The string length should be zero. Then only you will get true. Okay, and remember the second thing, it returns false. Okay, when if the string is not empty, not empty in the sense has a length, has a length greater than zero, means at least there should be some information, it should not be the length should not be zero. And you need to remember one more point in is empty, it will not consider white spaces. It's white space characters. White space characters. That's it. White space characters. So in string, white space also considers as a string. Okay. If it is considered as a string, it will have some length. Right. So because of that, if you have a some space, empty space also it considers as a string. So then is empty will return false. Okay. So first we'll take one example and execute and see how is empty will work. And then we'll move to the is blank. So let me take one string, string str1 is equals to. I have taken one string and inside the string I do not have anything. Okay. I do not have anything. So then string str2 is equals to I have one empty space. I have one empty space. And string str3 is equals to I can say Java something. Like that. Okay. I have three strings here. str1 is equals to nothing. I can say nothing. You don't have anything inside a string. In the str2, you have a space. Okay. And str3, you have Java. So when you try to print these things, system dot out dot print ln, str1 dot is empty. Okay. So what it will return? So the length of this one is zero. So obviously it is empty. Yes, true. Okay, so if you take the same thing for the str2, for str2, what happens? This is a space. Okay, so if it is a space, the length length of the, this one is zero, the length of this one is one, and length of this one is four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Here you have an empty space that is also considered as a string. The length is one. So because of that, str2 dot is empty. No, it is not empty. So because of that, it will return false. It is not empty. And the same way, if you talk about str3, obviously the length is four. So it will return false. Okay. So when you try to execute this, Java and then this class dot Java and you see that true false false so we are getting the true false false all right so now we'll talk about is blank okay so is blank the first part we need to remember about is blank is 
so it is introduced in java 11 java 11 and the second point you need to remember is it returns true if the string is blank means empty or contains only white spaces even white space also considers a blank that is the main difference so that is the main difference between is blank and is empty so then returns false if the string is not blank here not blank means contains at least one non-white space character okay so it should not have even non-white space character so we'll take the same thing let me take the same example so i'll change it to str4 str5 str6 and i'll take the same outputs like so let me change it to str3 sorry 4 dot is blank okay so is blank str5 so str6 dot is blank okay now instead of is empty i'm verifying here the condition is true if the string is blank empty or contains only white spaces if you have white spaces also it contains what as a blank so because of that first one anyhow blank the second one also blank so because of that it will become true if you have a single white space or multiple white spaces also it considers as blank but here you have some content inside this so because of that it will not considered as blank so now we should get true true false okay so let me put a separator here so inside this where we are talking about is blank okay so if you try to execute the same you see that true true false true true false we are getting here true false false so the main difference between this blank and empty is in the empty even this space considers as a string and the length of that is one so because of that it is not empty and we have discussed the same thing here as a length of zero as a length greater than zero but here if you have even white spaces even a single white space or multiple white spaces then that is considered as a blank right if you have a white space here is empty will return uh, false is blank will return true okay so this is the difference between is empty and is blank methods in java strings okay so that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel for interesting updates thank you